What's the deal? What's the deal? You already know who it is. You know, it's y'all favorite Auntie Pooh. Y'all know me. Once I get to washing my hair, y'all know I take days in washing my hair because y'all know me. <laughs> I'm obsessed with water. <laughs> you feel me? So, washing my hair takes three days. Anyway, check this out. Y'all already know the deal. And hey, let me tell y'all something. Hey, shout out to everybody that donated to my relocation fund. Oh, all I got to do is hold a video for hostage. You bitches then donated a thousand. We got 19 to go. Oh, you hoes said, uh-uh. Auntie, auntie, uh, we need the next part of the story. Man, shout out to all almost 60 of y'all that donated. Man, I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Even if I don't meet my goal, like... Man, I still appreciate y'all, bro. It's the fact that 50 some people thought about me. It don't matter that I got thousands of followers. That's not the point. The point is that y'all looked out for me. I know it's Christmas time and all that. I know that. That's why I didn't try to say, can y'all send me $50? Can y'all send me? No, that's not what I said. I said a couple of dollars, a few dollars, whatever you can spare. I wasn't trying to set no goals. Shout out to the people that donated a dollar, that donated two, that donated five, that donated a hundred, who donated ten, who donated twenty. I don't give a fuck what you donated. It's the fact that you thought enough of me to donate. You understand? You know, and y'all know I'm not trying to come with no gimmick. I ain't trying to come with the lies. I'm telling y'all exactly what it is, what I need it for. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no scam for my birthday. This ain't none of that. You know what I mean? This real life. Like, bro, we really trying to, you know, do something. And I only got 30 days to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm pushing it. You know what I'm saying? The link won't work on TikTok. I don't know why, but whatever. Because they know that's where my biggest fan base is. But it's all good. At the end of the day, I know who rock with me. And I appreciate y'all. Because I've seen some people donate that I know who really don't got it. But it was just the, the thought of me that I appreciate. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really appreciate it. But y'all know what it is. Closed mouths don't get fed. Of course, I'm going to ask my following this either yes or no. It ain't no big deal. You feel me? It ain't no hate. Y'all know I don't come on here begging. Y'all know that's not what it is. Y'all packages is being shipped out. Um, I know a few of y'all got them. The rest of y'all should be getting them. I paid for two-day shipping, so give it two days. Um, Like I said, I just want to come on here and say thank y'all for everything. Like, straight up, straight up. Like, thank y'all. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all know me. Y'all know what it is, so I appreciate y'all. I mean, hell, y'all know I answer y'all phone calls. Whenever y'all call, I talk to y'all, listen. I try to do the best I can do as one person, one individual. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all know my motto. I just don't want y'all making the same mistakes I made. I already made them. You ain't even got to hit them brick walls. I done already bashed them motherfuckers for you. You understand? <laughs> you ain't got to make the same mistake I made, baby. I promise you, you don't. You really don't. I like you really don't. But anyway, let's get into the story. So check this out. Like I said, she wasn't finna touch my butter pecan. You feel me? My butter pecan ice cream on a waffle cone with the caramel drizzle. Bitch, you got me fucked up. You sit up here going big on this girl. So she like, oh, so you really not go come on. Oh, girl, like, I'm not ready to go home. Like, you acting like it's something that's not. She like, no, no, no. You just trying to be in motherfuckers faces. She like, who face I'm finna be in? My family? Like, who face I'm finna be in? Pools? Who? Who face I'm in? Because I'm learning how to cha-cha. All I'm trying to do is learn how to cha-cha. You tripping about me learning how to cha-cha? You don't even know how to cha-cha. So at this point, I'm like, all right, Pooh. She's speaking up for herself. Fall back. You know what I'm talking about? So I go in the room real quick. I'm like, what you doing? She like, nothing. I'm like, you sleepy? She like, yeah. I'm like, well, go on to sleep. I'll be in here in a minute. She like, you said that a long time ago. Y'all been in there for a few hours. I'm like, man, look. Yo, mama them fun, bro. I'm like, now me, auntie cool. Like, shit, they fun. You feel me? She like, what's going on in there? I'm like, I don't know. I just hope I ain't got to knock this stud bitch out. 
She like she always like that. She always disrespectful. I'm like, oh, so this just her normal routine. She like, yeah, this is what she do. We, they go somewhere, they get to having a good time. She get uncomfortable for whatever reason. She get jealous, and then she be wanting to go. I'm like, say no more. You feel me? Say no more. So I'm like, all right, give me a kiss. I give her a kiss. She like shit. She out. Good. Go to bed, bitch. Close the door. I'm gonna go back in here with moms and auntie. Cause it looked like I'm trying to get the cousin. I mean, she just pretty in a motherfucker. Like, she pretty. You feel me? And I'm not in a relationship. I ain't scandalous either, though. So, you know, I'm just, I'm being intrigued. You know, I'm looking. I like what I see. I'm not gonna lie. I like what I see. You know, I don't see no relationship with her. You know, I just think she cute. You know, fuckable. Not somebody I want a wife. You know, somebody I would want a back dodo. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm talking about? So, I go back in there. Mom's like, what you was doing? I'm like, why you worried about it? Stop acting like you want me to take you in the room. Mom's is like, shit, you already said you buy cigarettes and pay late bills. I said, Mom, stop playing with me. She said, no, stop playing with me. Girl, I said, Moms, you too funny. Moms was like, no, I really like your energy. She like, you are a, like, you funny. I'm like, no, yo ass funny, like, bro. <laughs> funny than a motherfucker, right? So, so I go, we sitting there, they arguing. She like, get up and let me talk to you. She like, no, you talking to me right here. You not about to get me in the corner nowhere. She like, don't be saying it like that. You act like I do something to you. Oh, girl was like, you do be putting your hands on me. Why you act like you don't? She like, I don't be putting my hands on you like that. You be tripping. You be tripping. So I'm just looking like, bro, you, like, I already know you a buster. You feel me? Because there's no way, bro, you was supposed to let me talk to you like that in front of your bitch. You was supposed to get out. Because if you would have got at me like that in front of my bitch, I'd have, man, I'd have blew you down. You wouldn't have, man, bro. I'm not the way I talk shit. Bro, can't nobody punk me in public. Can't nobody punk me, period. Like, my bitch gonna be at home like, ah, you let that bitch knock you out, and then you wanna come home and hit on me. Girl, no, I'm about to beat this bitch up again. No, like, that type of shit don't work. So, anyway, they going back and forth. So, she grab her a little bit. So, the mama like, I don't know what the fuck wrong with you. You better let her go. She tell moms, no, y'all need to mind y'all business. The auntie like, first of all, you need to fall the fuck back. You always do this shit. Every time we all hanging, every time we all chilling, you always want to fuck up the mood because you a jealous ass bitch. I, we can understand you ain't got no family, but that ain't how our family get down. Oh, girl, like, you don't know what you talking about. You don't know what I got. You don't know what I got. Her mama like, man, you act like a bitch with no family. She like, y'all ain't gonna keep talking to me like that. The mama like, I'll talk to you however the fuck I want to talk to you, bitch. I pay for this motherfucker. This is my daughter shit. She was like, and so the stud was like, yeah, whatever. The stud was talking shit. Now, remind you, this family. So, who know her place? I don't get in family shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't get in family shit. Because one thing I know about family, maybe they'll fuss, fight, argue, bitch, and they'll turn on you. Yeah, I ain't one of them. So, bitch, why I move that bang like I got some hair? <laughs> bitch, go try to swoop it. <laughs> Girl, that little shit. <laughs> that little shit ain't moving, bitch. Girl. <laughs> Completely off track. That shit just threw me off. Anyway. <laughs> Get your back and ramen noodle head. <laughs> Make it seem like it's some shit to swoop. Ooh, us bald head bitches. Jesus. Anyway, like I said, family shit, I stay up out of that. You feel me? Because it don't got nothing to do with me. It's not my place. I don't got nothing to say. So I'm letting them go back and forth. Mom's like, you better watch your mouth talking to me. Oh, girl, tell her. Tell mom's like, Nah, y'all be encouraging bullshit. That's why every time I come around, you know what I'm saying, y'all be on the bullshit. So, mom's like, so what's the bullshit we be in? 
What is it that we be on? She like, I'm just saying, every time I come around, y'all laughing, y'all want to giggle, y'all always uh, high-fiving, y'all always want to play cards, y'all always just want to do something. And it's like, what the fuck, right? So mom's like, so bitch, you mad we're family. You mad, bitch, that we have cookouts, we, we meet up, we all eat together, we gamble together. Like, bitch, that's what you mad at. So the auntie like, bitch, can't nobody help it if you a goddamn orphan, bitch. I'm like, oh, is this true? What the fuck, bitch, bitch, an orphan? Oh, that's why she mad. All right, let me figure out what the fuck going on. <laughs> so, mom's like, hold on. Uh-uh. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that one. Anyway, um, so I'm like, damn, right? So auntie like, bitch, because you a fucking orphan, bitch. Don't be acting like that with my motherfucking people, bitch. What's wrong with you? She like, you got fucking issues. And she was like, bitch, you know, her mama wouldn't even go for that. Now, I was thinking it was the auntie their daughter, but it wasn't. It was the other sister. So I'm like, okay, now it's all coming together. I'm piecing it because it ain't what I assumed, right? So she was like, because, bitch, you already know what it is with my sister. Oh, girl, say, I don't give a fuck. I'm the one paying the bills. I'm the one been taking care of everything. So I look at old girl's face, and I'm like, well, maybe she is paying the bills and, and everything because she got on a pair of vans. And them motherfuckers leaning. Like, they look old. Maybe. I don't know. You feel me? I don't know. She looked like a struggle. I don't know if I'm no damn. Them bitches had a hole on the side of them motherfuckers. You know how you used to go to school and no disrespect to the Mexicans or the, or the white girls. But you know how you used to go to school and you would look at their shoes. Them motherfuckers got a hole in them. Why they so fucking dirty? You get what I'm saying? I'm just sorry, because certain black people, y'all know, we can't go out the house look, without looking a certain way. And this is no disrespect saying that they don't get dressed. That's not what it is. Please do not come on this motherfucker acting like I'm being racist when, bitch, we all went to school with these type of kids. I don't want to hear that shit, and some of them was black, too, so I'm going to say that. So can't nobody be thinking I'm picking on somebody. But y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. The couple that be scamming in the hallways, if y'all know what scamming is, that's old school bitches kissing. Bitch, you feel me? You know the scamming couple. You look down like, what the fuck? Any fucking way. So I'm thinking, oh, she paying the bills and shit. Well, bitch, maybe you need to get your ass in that goddamn car. You feel me? Like, I don't know. I ain't really worked this spade game. You feel me? So I see the auntie go outside on the phone. I don't pay her no more attention. So the mama like, you need to pipe the fuck down. So the mama end up turning on another song. Who was like, come on, Paul. Let's get the cha-cha. So, old girl, she about to get up, right? She's getting up to come back and cha-cha. Old girl, pull her down. Boom, she hit the couch like. So, we all look. I'm like, damn, bro. Because the way she did it, it was like, I'm staying out the business. But, like, cause at this point, you just being hella extra. And it's like, nigga, no reason to be extra. Even though I think she cute and I would fuck. That's your girl. You ain't supposed to never let another bitch see you sweat. You feel me? See me, it's just pressure. I'm going to let a bitch know I over. Bitch ready to die trying to fuck mine. Shit, go ahead. I, I got fucked up ways. <laughs> That's how I think, you know. Because a bitch wouldn't have been playing with me, but I wouldn't have cared if my girl was learning how to cha-cha with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? I get intrigued when another motherfucker flirt with my bitch in my face. Cause I know, I know my bitch. I like anything I really fuck with. I know she loyal to the soil. You feel me? She ain't out here fucking a random nigga, fucking her ex, or doing some old dirty ass whole shit and come back and tell me she love me. No, nigga, she gonna be solid with me. She gonna let me know up front. Baby, I did this, this, and that. She ain't gonna never let nothing be a surprise to me. She ain't gonna never make me put me in a situation where I look stupid. Nigga, I don't fuck with them type. My bitches is boss bitches. You feel me? They go always look out. They go always have their money straight. They go always be there. Like, they go always make me just be in love with them because they just, nigga, a whole ass female, like a whole ass real woman. You know what I'm talking about? Somebody you ain't got to tell how to get shit done. They get it done. You understand what I'm talking about? The type that you only got to mention something you like and you got it. Like, I deal with a different type because I'm that type. 
I'm that type. If it's my girl, nigga, I listen. I pay attention to what she want and what she need. So, with that being said, I go do some extra hours. I do overtime to make sure she got what she want. Because my bitch ain't supposed to go to nobody but me. That's how I feel. Come to me first. And the only time you go to outsiders is if I don't got it. My job is for my bitch to bleed me. Straight up. I'm sorry. That's just how I think. Y'all ain't got to think like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way I think. Like, what I look like allowing my bitch to go to somebody else. I'm supposed to flood who I'm with. You supposed to cherish who you with. Anybody I fuck with, I look out for. That's my job. I fuck with you. How can I fuck with you and not do for you? It don't make sense to me. And some of y'all look at that shit as tricking, but bitch, it ain't tricking if you got it. Only bitches complain about doing shit for people is the bitches that don't got it. And that's straight up because we know people that got it, bro, when we do something for you, we do something for you. We know it's chances of you being fake with it, but that don't stop us from doing what we doing. But I'm getting off subject. We ain't even finna go there. Anyway, let me get back to this. And donate to my motherfucking relocation fund. Y'all know that link is in the goddamn bio and in the bottom of this video. Stop playing before I cut this shit off. All right, now I'm just playing. Come on, y'all. Anyway. So I'm just seeing her And we all I'm just like damn So I'm like damn bro Like is that serious She like she learned enough I'm like bro chill out my nigga I'm like don't nobody wanna fuck your bitch I'm like you about to lose your bitch I'm like you need to chill out She like let me holler at you I'm like let's go So we step outside Remind you the auntie coming back in the door As we stepping out The auntie bump into her so she tell her auntie like, damn, you rude. The auntie like, so what, bitch? She like, yeah, all right. The auntie like, what you mean? Yeah, all right. My the auntie leg fucked up, though. So I tell her auntie, now ain't take your cripple ass on in the damn house. Don't be out here starting no shit. I said before I had to slide this bitch. Because you, cause y'all getting into it. So a girl like slide, ooh, I'm like, you, nigga. She like, ha, ha, all right. I'm like, ha, ha, yeah. I'm like, so what's up? So I close the door, close the screen door. I'm like, what's up? She like, what's up with you? I'm like, what's up with you? I'm like, what's up? What you mean what's up with me? She like, is it a problem? I'm like, it can be. It will be. I'm like, if you keep acting the way you acting, my nigga, if you want to get out, we can get out. She like, I'm just saying, like, if I'm talking to my bitch, I said, bro, you in, you in public with all of us listening. We ain't got to be subject to you checking your bitch. If you felt some type of way, you should have took your bitch outside or put it to the side. And if she didn't want to go, what the fuck? What the fuck? We in your business. She like, oh, all right. I'm like, oh, all right. What? I'm like, bro, it ain't nothing but space and opportunity, my nigga. You feel for all leap and we can get out. She like, I'm just saying, my bitch is my bitch. I'm like, cuz, I fuck several bitches and your bitch ain't the only bad one. She a cutie, though, and I would fuck if that's what you want to know, nigga. But ain't nobody trying to take your bitch. I'm like, you insecure as fuck. And we can see it all over your face. You don't have to say a word. Hey. <laughs> you don't have to say a word. You smile, you smile, you smile, you smile for me. Hey. It's more than anything I ever heard. Bitch, I'm just trying to tell you. I might have mixed up the little words at the end. But y'all get the point, bitch. It's written all over your face. <laughs> bitch, I'm pressure. Bitch. Fuck you talking about. She like, well, whatever. I'm finna get up out of here. I'm like, do what you do. She like, but if I ever find out you and my bitch has something to go on, going on, we go get out. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Why would you challenge me? I say, you sure you want to do that? She said, yeah. I said, say no more. I got you. Sheila said, what that mean? I said, exactly what the fuck I said. Nigga, I go back in the house. Music still on. I said, come on, baby girl. Let me show you how to cha-cha. Now, my old girl was outside smoking, right? She had a black. She smoking. We in there cha cha. As we cha cha, and I'm like, you good? Boom. She like, yeah, I'm okay. She like, what y'all was talking about? I'm like, she told me if I fuck you, 
or if she ever find out I fucked you, we gonna get out. She was like, what? And I was like, yeah. She said, so what you say? I said, shit, I told her, all right, for sure. It's all girl. Like, what that mean? I'm like, if you let me fuck, I'm fucking. And if she want to get down, we can get down. She like, oh my God, you so funny. Like, why would you say that? She be tripping. She like, I love her though, right? So I realized she love her girl, like, regardless. She feel me? She love her. She want to have fun, but she ain't really own nothing. You know what I'm saying? So at that point, I checked the temperature. The temperature looked warm. You know, so I'm like, I, you know me, I don't pressure no bitch. Like, it ain't no pressure, but I like her. And now that I know she's solid, I really like her. You feel me? Because I'm like, oh, okay. You feel me? She was like, I just wasn't ready to go because we always at home. I just didn't want to be in the house. I been having fun. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, well, shit, we can get the spade game back cracking. So mom's like, hey, y'all want to make the game interesting? I said, mom, I said, what you on, bro? You on some bullshit. Mom said, let's play another game. I said, moms, what kind of game we finna play? Mom said, fuck it, let's play Truth or Dare. I said, moms, what you know about Truth or Dare? She was like, girl, please don't play me. I'm like, moms, stop playing. What are you finna play Truth or Dare on? She was like, I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun. I mean, okay, well, yeah, let's motherfucking play. Let's play house. Let's go. So now we sitting here. We sitting at the table. Our girl still out there smoking. And it been about 10 minutes. So I don't know who she out there on the phone with. I don't know nothing, right? So it's now it's been about 20 minutes. We just sitting there regular dares. Moms are saying shit like, let me see how you eat peanut butter. I dare you to do this. So when mom was dare me to eat the peanut butter, you know me. I put the peanut butter on the spoon. Bone put it in my mouth, pull it out. Mom's like, oh. I'm like, mom, what the fuck? She was like, your mouth still wet, right? I'm like, hey. Mom's is hilarious. You hear me? When I say she hilarious, bro, if I ever get her on this song, you go hear how much she, let me see. Let's see if she missed me. Let me see if she answered the phone. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see, y'all. Uh, I'm just asking her, do she miss me? If she answer. Because I know she go to work. Tell you, boy, if she ever called me back, she probably, it's been a long time, don't get me wrong, you feel me? But, bro, I'm, I'm go get her on this phone. <laughs> I'm go get her on this phone, because y'all gonna see the love she has for me. I'm sorry. Anyway. Any fucking way. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna get her on the motherfucking phone. I promise you, because that lady love me to this motherfucking day. But I should have thought about it. It's about to be 7.30. She probably clocking in. And our boss, we on camera. Because she, she worked at my old job. Anyway, anyway. That's why I said last time, I'm going to call Ashley. Y'all know my co-worker. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Anyway, so moms is hitting me with the doozies. You feel me? So now what's auntie turn? Auntie like, I dare you. She said, I dare you to lick my leg. I said, which one? The peg one? She said, no, no, why you trying to be funny? Now, now, lick my leg. I said, oh, you want me to lick your leg? I said, I'll lick your thigh. She was like, okay. I'm like, you want me to lick your thigh? All right. So, boom, I go. I sit down. I said, let me see the music. So, I get the little baby. Boom. I go, what song I want to play? Boom. Nigga, I go to Pretty Ricky. Yo love like honey. Press play. Boy, now I'm sliding through, y'all. I'm in there acting like genuine. They laughing. I'm talking about the the cousin 
the motherfucking mama, the auntie, nigga, and old girl is in there dying laughing. I'm talking about bitch, I'm sliding up on her and shit. Nigga, now I'm on the floor. I'm crawling. I'm fucking with her like a whole stripper. Bitch, I'm all. They is dying laughing. Like, to where the mama that went in her purse got some ones. Oh, girl, like, hold on. I got a couple of dollars. Like, nigga, I'm spending, dipping this shit, just being extra, sliding on her and shit. <laughs> Grabbed her legs, <laughs> and I kissed that thigh. Auntie, like, oh, 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 Lord. I see why my knee, girl, you ain't even did nothing to me. Why am I feeling like this? The mama say, what it feel like? She said, it feel like heaven. I said, bitch, <laughs> I'm the chosen one. You understand? So, everybody laughing. Everybody laughing. So, my in here, knock at the door. Boom. And so, girl from next door, she like, y'all over here still having fun? I'm like, yeah, we playing truth to dare. Come on. She come in. They Everybody talking. Because, like I said, everybody know each other. She like, what your ass doing? I come in here, you on the goddamn floor. I'm like, oh, baby, it's on. Get your dollars ready. You know what I'm talking about? She like, oh, shit, let me go get my purse. Let me get my ones. I'm like, yeah, baby, I'm fucking it up. You know what I'm talking about? Fuck you me. Hit him with my motherfucking, uh, what's my goddamn move? You nigga stump the yard moves, bitch. And then I came and hit him with the motherfucking little saints, nigga, the Motherfucker, bitch, don't play with me, bitch. <laughs> I was in that motherfucker. Oh, when I say we had a ball, like, so now it's probably been like 45 minutes, bro. The stud girl ain't came back in the house. So now, after, like, when I say everybody on the floor dying laughing, like, motherfuckers is rolling on the floor, they like pull. You stupid. Like, why did you just do all this? Y'all was doing a robot and shit. I just was clowning. You know what I'm talking about? Just, I was in there. <laughs> Bro, I was, man, I was acting. Bitch, I'm telling you, I put on a motherfucking performance, ho. I put on a motherfucking performance, bitch. You got me fucked up. Nigga, so now, I guess old girl is realizing. Where the fuck? Is this bitch at? Right? Now, a girl from next door then came. We sitting there chilling. So she go outside. Oh, girl, the cousin go outside like, where this bitch at? So she, I guess she go to the end of the hallway. This is just what I'm assuming because it's only two sides, right? I'm assuming she went this way and went that way. So maybe after about 10 minutes, I hear like a you feel me? Like a, and I'm like, I know the music on, but y'all know me. I got dog ears, my nigga. Like, God, let me say something. <laughs> y'all know, y'all didn't see me on live. We didn't stop talking to listen outside. Y'all know, <laughs> y'all know I'm nosy in the motherfucker. So I'm hearing it. Boom. And I'm like, nobody else is hearing me, right? So I get up. Mom's like, where you going? I'm like, oh, nothing. Outside real quick. I step outside. Step out the door. I hear the thump again. I'm like, where the fuck is it coming from? Nigga, I turn to the left and I'm walking. No, I went right first. Because this side of the hallway is shorter. So I went this way and I'm like, am I tripping? And then I went this way towards the longer one. So as I'm walking, I hear it again. But then when I turn, nigga, I notice it's coming from old girl house. Nigga, I look through the motherfucking door. Is I'm about to open the motherfucking door, bitch. All I see is the stud got her by her motherfucking throat, nigga. And like they're leaning and falling. Nigga, as I'm opening the door, I'm like, oh shit. Nigga, they fall. Boom. When they fell, the stud fell on top. Now, remind you, at this point, I'm holding the door like, what the fuck? Where the fuck? Like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on, right? 
So I looked down, and somehow old girl didn't flip the stud over. Now I'm finna jump in because I'm like this stud bigger than old girl. You feel me? Old girl on top of her. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, oh, this little bitch can fight. What the fuck I was trying to save her for? That bitch abusive. Bitch, what the fuck with this bitch mixed with Street Fighter? Bitch, what the fuck is your name? Bitch, I'm telling you, ain't that motherfucker like a power car was sucking. I said, God damn, bitch, what is this bitch mixed with? So, mind you, ain't nobody came outside. So she got the stud. When I say she got her, she was like, bitch, I'm tired of playing with you. She like, I knew it, bitch. I knew it. I knew it. So I grabbed old girl. I'm like, what's up with you? The stud like, keep her away from me. Keep her away from me. Keep her away. I'm like, you want me to keep her away from you? I'm like, this your bitch. This your lady. You the bitch you ready to die about. Then I looked. I ain't finna keep her away from me. She finna beat your motherfucking ass, baby. Oh, you out of pocket, pocket. Oh. If you want to know the rest of the story, donate to my relocation fund. You already know I love y'all. My birthday is January the 1st. Y'all already know what it is. You can donate me anything to auntiepooltalk at gmail.com. Chime, Venmo, PayPal, Zelle. I'm just saying, y'all know what it is. I love y'all. Talk to y'all later.